Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to do what we love and that's take a look at Bitcoin today. Um, you know, where to start? I want to, let's say this, I want to really try and keep this one short, sweet and concise. Just give you the really important information that you really need right now. Um, obviously, I'm still struggling with COVID, still uh, not really that better. I've, I've been up actually since 5am, woke up at 5am um, and I was basically bed bound. And then this drop happened on Bitcoin and I was like, right, people are probably going to be a bit um, wondering what's going on now, a bit emotional. I really need to actually wake up. Um, so I took some stuff, hopefully, well, I'm going to do this video and then maybe I'll probably go back and, and, and rest. So I hope, I truly hope that you appreciate me making this one for you today, struggling a little bit, but, um, for me, I really just really felt I needed to do this video because there's going to be a lot of panic, a lot of emotions. And yeah, I kind of just felt bad for not making you all aware of what's going on, I suppose. So, um, yeah. Let's go, everybody. I hope you enjoy. First of all, let's keep this one very, very, very simple. We are ultimately range bound, okay? We all know the swing failure pattern that we had back on the 10th of January. Fairly simple trade. Okay, we made our way up all the way back up to the top of the range. And this is, I would say, a harder trade for sure. It was a harder trade. Okay, obviously, um, when you're up around the top of the range here, one would say this is your area to look for shorts. Just like we look for longs at the lows, we look for shorts up at a higher range. Okay, it was a difficult short to take. I definitely agree with this. In fact, uh, it, it was a fairly difficult trade, let's be honest. The only way that you could have taken this is in two ways. Okay, the first was really simply a swing failure pattern. Okay, so that was your last high of the top of the range. You took that high, you closed back down below. That's a swing failure pattern. I know many people took that one. I myself didn't. Okay, because I actually wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't really feeling up to taking trades. But I did take the follow up because th for me, this was a low, very low risk, high probability short. And that was really simply when we had actually then lost that ultimately that mini range low with the range high, range low, range high. Once we had lost that and back tested it, for me, this was the, the, the needed short position because at this point, the probability of falling down is very great. OK, why is that? Well, just like when you form. OK, just like when you form like swing fire patterns at the range low, that's a high probability that you're going to increase in price. Once you've seen this type of failed auction up at the highs, lost, bat tested, there's a high probability that you're going to come down lower. And so for me to not take that short would kind of be irresponsible, I think. Um, and the level that we've come down to is for me the take profit and definitely an acceptable long position. I would start off by saying, uh, obviously, when we're referring to longs here, we could basically say lower term time frames. We've obviously just come up and back tested now the middle of the channel. What was that support you might be asking? It was fairly simple, let's be honest. It was the range point of control here. Okay, so we basically come back into this and you can see we're getting a bit of a bounce underway. Currently, again, if you're a scope trader, I think this is an acceptable take profit one. Um, for sure, yeah, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, come back up into the middle of, of the channel here that we've been trading for a little while. Um, so it's essentially, um, my, my thoughts here, and this is, this is the thing that I read this morning. So this was around 9am. It's just this, it's just this, having this like conviction of, uh, what do we call this? Like the, the sixth sense, uh, that when you trade Bitcoin every day for as long as I've been trading, you just kind of get these, uh, senses, I suppose. Um, I'm really simply today. I, I saw the charts and I was just like, in my opinion, there's more of a drop to come on Bitcoin. Simple as that few hours later we get the drop and we've come into the range point of control and so it's just like this 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 feeling that you get you know here obviously before i wrote that we're just going sideways many people might be eager to long too early prematurely um not have an understanding and just come here hey i think there's more of a drop to come when the drop comes of course it feels nice but um you know that the, the, i want to basically explain this reasoning briefly the reason why i thought there was more to of a drop to come on bitcoin was simply based off of the context that we have failed auction the highs, back tested that range and dropped once more. I felt it was a high, 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 high probability that we are going to drop further to at least this range POC. Okay, to at least that range POC. Obviously, if we lose this and it flips to resistance, we can start looking down to the CC and obviously the range low. And if this is lost, we can look for another failed auction on this. Or if we lose that lower, it's really, really a step by step. We don't need to be magicians. We don't need to be 
we, we don't need to be anything other than uh, prepared to take the next trade. Yeah. Marking out the levels, being prepared for those trades, and then having conviction when the levels are hit, entering the trades. Like I said, I think this is an acceptable long. I've already posted in my group the, um, you know, when we hit that level, you know, it's something to be aware of. In my opinion, this is an acceptable scope long. Acceptable take profit one is, is the um, middle of the channel that we've been trading. And if we go up even further, then great, you can let that run. If it drops from here, take the stop loss, look for the next setup at the next level to the downside. So you can see here, my approach of this is very, very, very calm, collected, methodical, um, planned and non-emotional yeah i have no emotions <laughs> uh, when it comes to this it's there's a trade i take the trades i'm going to make some money i'm going to lose some money on this trade thankfully the last few ones we've been making some money here not difficult trades most swing failure pattern failed auction retests point of control of the range you know fairly three fairly simple trades but if you do not have the patience you are not very good at taking profit then you, you, you're in a situation where maybe you've took three trades, you've lost three trades. So you obviously have to have that certain degree of skill here. Um, but I think the majority of it is coming down to having that plan, levels marked out, and then the patience to let that run with very good at taking that first take profit, recognizing what's the difference between a swing trade, which this is obviously a swing long, is so in my opinion a swing short, is naturally more of a day trade position, recognizing the difference between this and how that affects position sizing, how that affects your take profit percentages. You know, there's a lot of moving parts per se into this. Um, but yeah, when you are approaching this in a really calm, collected manner, um, that there, there, there's definitely quite, quite one, quite easy money to be made uh, when you have the skills to to extract the money from this at the moment. So um, yeah, sorry that I'm not like <laughs> ultra hyped in my normal video, like my normal videos, but I'm, I am struggling a little bit. And um, I don't want people feeling sorry for me, by the way. I'm not, I'm not after this. <laughs> don't, you don't need to write any comments. I hope you're well. I am going to be fine. I am, per se, well. And, um, you know, think positive. Everything, you know, every, <laughs> literally everything's going to be fine. So, um, yeah, I just really felt the need to do this video because I, I definitely feel there's going to be a lot of emotional, scared um, people wondering what's going on. Why did we reject here? You know. I can give you that answer fairly simply, to be fair. I've explained this. I've told you the next levels. If we lose this, it doesn't matter. Like, don't be fearful. Don't be scared. If Bitcoin drops, you can make money on the drops. So there's no need to be worried on a Bitcoin drop. Yeah, just, just trade the price action. If we start to reclaim that middle of the channel as support, of course, it looks it looks stronger just up to our next level. And it's level to level. If we, if we break resistance, trade up higher. If we break support, trade down lower. There's no need to be holding bitcoin on a pedestal of i can only long this asset uh, unless you maybe live in a country where you can only long the asset <laughs> and, and, and then you can still sell your spot yeah you could sell spot buy back lower yeah and the only reason why you'd be scared of this is oh my god i can't sell bitcoin because what happens if it pumps well if you remove that emotional attachment to the asset you actually will then start to make money while you're emotionally attached to the asset you're going to struggle because you're going to make emotional decisions and this market does not right does not favor the emotional it favors the professionals that come in here see there's money to be made make money leave the next day yeah we have no emotional attachment to it that, that's that's my final words i um I, I hope that you've enjoyed this video a bit different than normal i suppose uh you know always appreciate a like on the video or a, a a share on the video um you know that would be that would be really nice if you if you if you want to be nice um so yeah thank you honestly ever so much uh, I'll, I, I, I suppose I'll end also by saying if you can give, uh, you know, probably going to be more on social media in terms of Instagram and Twitter over the next few days, a uh, few weeks, I'm probably going to do a little bit less on the YouTube. So you can come over and follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, or it's just easier for me to do a quick trading update rather than like a whole video. Um, so yeah, give us a follow on Twitter, give us a follow on Instagram. That's where I'm going to do the majority of my trading updates over the next week, I suppose. Um, a little bit less on, on the, on the, the public YouTube here. Obviously I'll see the members, um, on Sunday because I will continue to do the champions live streams. So I'll see you on Sunday for the champions live streams, but on, on here, 
yeah, I just say and go come and follow us on the other social media because it's just a bit easier for me to do a, a written tweet <laughs> than it is to do a video. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's the end of this video. I hope that you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And of course, I'll end with the disclaimer quickly of and there's no financial advice in this video. Not financial advice. Um, we're educational entertainment video only. And when we talk about trades, we're talking about paper trades. OK, when we're not talking about putting real money on the line, you know, when we're talking about making money, when we're talking about all these ideas, everything that we talk about when we're talking about this is paper trades. OK, so um, read the disclaimer and understand that. I hope you've enjoyed and catch you in the next one or over on Instagram and um, Twitter. Cheers. Goodbye. Thank you.